Hey guys, it's Fishing Crabby and Yavin here. Um, today we're going to learn about, or I'm going to tell you about, uh, how yabbies molt. Or not how they molt, but how to tell that they are about to molt. Um, I will do a video on how to get them to kind of imprint on you, because this guy, he's doing it here, where he, he knows who I am. Not exactly personally, but he knows that I give him food, and he'll come out to meet me. Usually when I put the food in, so that's for the next video. He's gone over there, he's a bit shy. Um, but just to quickly say, these are all new yabbies, the ones that you saw in the last video. Uh, it was quite a few months, like five months back now. They are actually all dead because the water quality, we went on holidays, the water quality wasn't too great uh, due to some complications. I won't say why, but yeah, but today the, the main the main purpose behind this video is to tell you how to know if your yabby's about to molt. Now, these yabbies aren't being too nice to me today because they're not coming out, they're a bit shy. Uh, but the first thing I have noticed, okay, this guy that you're seeing here, he's actually molted, I think two days ago now. And what he's doing right now, he's feeding. This is the first time in two days that he's actually fed. Which brings me on to the first, as soon as this truck passes by. Alright, which leads me to the first um, tip or sign that they're about to molt. Is that they will stop eating from one and a half days to two days in advance. And they won't eat um, from around one to two days after they've actually molted. Now you can see just between these two claws... That's his molted claw over there. I'm not sure how well you can see it. The glass isn't too clean. But, um, yeah, that's, that's him right there. He's just feeding. So, yeah, that's a very big clue of... you got to see if they feed or not. There's another one showing its claw there. Um, if they feed or not. So, that is a very big clue. You can see this yabby. Hopefully, it is a bit clear to you guys. That his texture isn't blurry at all. He's a very sharp, clean yabby. I'll try and show you from above, up above. Hopefully it focuses. There you go. It, it's a very sharp, clean colored yabby. That, that's a sign that this yabby is not going to molt for a while. And the reason why I say this is when the yabby does molt, he'll separate his outside shell with his inside shell. That way, and he tries to get as much nutrients from his outside shell beforehand as well, because molting is a quite a big thing for them uh, in terms of losing a lot of energy and and things like that. And so that's why they'll lose a lot of their color, and they'll go a, very much blurry. They'll go very blurry when uh, they they're about to molt because obviously they're taking in all that color for themselves to put it in the next next molt so we've covered that they won't eat that they won't uh, their color will go a bit blurry slash a bit colorless and the third thing that i want to say there is about four or five things that will show you but the third thing is is that these guys okay so I, I had to just pause there for a second because i would forgotten what it was i would remembered it and i forgot it so that is uh, if the yabby is, I uh, forgot it again, what the hell. So I'll just say it now, if the yabby, so you can see the carapace, not where the section meets the tail, where the head meets the tail, that bit will split. So you'll be able to see the meat of, oh he's doing this perfectly for me now, that line in there where it meets the head, he will start to split from there. And that is a very good indicator of uh, telling that your yabby is about to molt. Now generally that does happen quite near the molting stage. So all the feeding and the um, color blurriness, they'll come before that. But the splitting will come around three hours before. They're just getting ready to molt because that's, that's where they will actually leave their shell. So I'll just give you a bit of view here. There you go. That's where they'll leave their shell. And that's a very good way to tell if they're about to molt. That way, if you are going to leave them in the tank and you know there's a very aggressive yabby, you can just simply either take the yabby out 
of the tank which is not advised or you can put it in a crate still in the tank just separated and just floating above here you can put it in a little basket say like that wide and it'll molt that I do not recommend at all I have seen people do it but it just stresses the Yabby out double time because you got to remember this Yabby is going through a lot of um, stress at this time because you got to remember like in its national na natural habitat stuff like Murray Cod uh, bass perch here in Australia they'll go for these things if they're really soft they'll go for them if they're hard but if they're soft the yabbies know that they're vulnerable as well so um, yeah that's how that's I think four ways I told you so there's a splitting there's a color there's a non-eating um, and then there's also they'll they'll be very hidden from you as well they'll hide and they won't really show themselves to you that's why it is hard to see them not eating and stuff but there is a way you can tell because these yabbies have been with me for about six to seven months now i'm not sure i think actually no it's only been four months because the yabbies my previous yabbies have died if you guys have watched my other video on how to take care of yabbies those yabbies have unfortunately passed away these are four new yabbies and uh, yes, so what I've done, I've made them imprint on me. So if I were to have some food in my hand right now and then put it in the tank and then go like that and then put it in, they would, or not even drop it, they would like eat it out of my hand. And for the next video, I will 100% show you that. Um, and I'll show you how to get your yabbies to imprint on you. By the way, the biggest yabby is in that PVC pipe. I'm not sure if you can see him. Actually, I don't think you can, but you can just see his claws over there. I'll, I'll hopefully get him out in the next video or just in a random video that I do post because he's actually quite big. He's from about where this rock ends there to about where my finger is. He's, he's a big yabby. I'm not sure why he hasn't made his appearance. Anyways, thank you for watching and see